All right, what is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to, of course, another RU Wi Fi battle. This time, I'm going up against Green Scrafty, and um, I actually decided to, um, like, I shouldn't say, I, I told him watering down the team, and I watered down the team like it was significantly different, but my original team that I was created was actually with, um, with Drapion, which I believe pressure him a whole lot. So, um, we don't see that. We see Pessimian, however, which is, like, tremendously awful. Um, damn, like, Pessimian is way up there. Um, Galvanchala is alright. Poltergeist is kinda nasty. Sand Slash. So, Spinner, Spiker. Hmm. I do believe I have a few tricks off my sleeve, but there are a lot of things here that really makes um, my executor a whole lot worse. Um, but yeah, what do I do, right? That's a bigger question. I think I'll lead off with Rotor. Um, because I feel we are in that like weird spot where I don't believe either of our um, like leads will do um, that much damage. I can't believe, by the way, I've forgotten the nickname my uh, <laughs> Executor. <laughs> Always call him um, Yggdrasil, so we can just have that, have that in mind. Can't believe why I didn't nickname it. I actually had um, like an idea of having it in a weather team, but uh, it has nothing to set up... Um, what do you call it? Um, like it, it didn't get weather ball this generation, so it's a very, very poor um, sweep right now, which is really bad. That's right. Stick web makes sense. I want to do that myself, but I kind of want to pressure him directly, as I believe my bug bus will break his sash, which is the most important part. And uh, I mean, it's honestly almost killing him. So I get my own webs up. I think he's going to. I kind of don't want my webs up, so I kind of hope right now that I didn't screw this up because I realized one thing, and that is that uh, his Malamar becomes a lot more interesting with the webs up. Um, the right, I think Salazzle comes in here. Or Gorgeist. When Salazzle comes in, I do believe I have a free switch into uh, my Colossal. Damn, I re actually regretted that I went for webs. <laughs> because of Pessimius getting defiant and all that stuff. I guess minus speed though, so that could be an opportunity. <sighs> Alright, he's really thinking about this. I wonder what he's considering. Brings in Knuckles, so... Maybe he wants to be a more hazard deliverant. I don't know. He could have Stone Edge. Yeah, he could also have Stealth Rocks, which clearly pressures me. But besides that, like he has Knock Off, potentially Earthquake, maybe Stone Edge. I'm actually gonna do um, a Roost Player because I kind of feel. His play should be in between knockoff and um, earthquake. So let's see or gauge what he can do. Rapid spin. All right. So I guess he don't want passes on the field, which is cool. Like I said, considering the situation I'm in, I could actually go about not. having those hazards up, actually. Um, so there is a knockoff. I was kind of waiting for that one. There we go. Nice. Um, so we get him out of the way, and um, I'm still kind of waiting for um, um, I'm still waiting for Salazzle comes in so I can spin. <laughs> Sally. I was gonna say, like, there you are. What's up, buddy? Um, so yeah, ball rock it is. Let's see what he wants to do. So 
at least he did decide to attack. We can take both stabs and Dragon Pulse is his filler basically, or Toxic. He is just as mad ladding as Hannah is. All right, all right, all right, cool. I feel I still spin though, even though Gorgeist is such a easy switch in. Or maybe I Stealth Rock actually, it's rather free. See how he levels this. Because his Gore guys comes in. Oh, the, the thing is, Galvanishly is still active, so it's kind of rough of trying to overcomplicate things. Hmm. He does decide to switch out. I think in Gore guys. Coraline. Yes, I think we've made the right call. Unwillingly. And it is a small variant, so um, they are always frustrating to deal with. Um, I need to keep you somewhat alive. Yep, so in Stalin, these sets usually have flame charge in worst case scenario, but usually like power whip, um, poltergeist. Um, and then it's combination of explosion and all kinds of jazz. Let's see, Leech Seed. So it's a stall breaker variant. You don't see those. All right, I'm protecting here. Let's see what he wants to do. Will O Wisp, right? He does carry it. So Do I wanna burst him as much as I can? Can I do? We're still slower. Foul plane. Mad lad. I just wanna get the damage here, really. Ah, it does all right. I mean, it's not perfect. The leftovers too. This is a bulky, bulky beast. Right, I think his players actually go for um, a will o wisp or um, or foul playing. Yeah, just KO me. Um, okay, okay. We're still in this, though, like I said, kind of a bit surprised about this set. Not that it's a bad set, it's just... Didn't think it was going to be something like that. Um, there also risk of sounding rude when you say stuff like that. I don't mean to be rude, it's rather... Hey, look, that's how he plays this. And... Uh, I am actually without an item now, so I don't fear this situation that much. And uh, my players to stick a web up. He leaves even a bit surprised about that. I actually believe I would have switched out in this situation. Because uh, so far I've yet to see what he wants to do. But he lost his rapid spinner, so every mana comes in will lose speed itself. So I just need to find a way to get my speed up. But yeah, it feels like every Every, every work I did versus this is gone out. I just kind of think he can't win the matchup. Shadow Sneaks. Right, so not Poltergeist. That's good. That's actually real good. So Lead Seed, Will O Wisp, Foul Play, and Shadow Sneak. Huh. So I am way off when it comes to this. Uh, right, bug busting. Because I have really no idea how to wheel this guy down without uh, like stalling through basically, which is clearly what I'm doing. As I don't break through naturally, I say as I bug bust and that clearly did exactly what it needed to. So now I need to find a way to spin. <laughs> 
So there's a lot of turns of just residual damage, which is absolutely boring, but quite frankly, I need to stay somewhat healthy. And I want to go for the kill though. Can I even recover if I go for the kill? Not really, everything I can recover against is dead. So we're bug bus here in second this. Fall plane, that's fair. Because I got the web up, which is clearly like all I theoretically needed. And now I need to deal with um, a lot of monster does a lot of things right. Um, I really need him to bring in Celestial again so I can spin. But basically he can bring in Pissimian, he can bring in Malamar, and all of them will be tremendously awful to deal with. Malamar, however, I think a knockoff kills me, that's about it. And he can't super power spam me, at least not yet. But he will get a plus two speed when he comes in, so... Hello, plus two speed. <laughs> yeah, plus two speed. Now here's the thing, he needs to knock off. I don't have a switch in for knockoff, I believe. Nah, not really. So, we're bug busting here. Without a boost, I wonder. He's absolutely in range, for sure. Psycho Cut. Ooh. We take those. We take those. <sighs> right. 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 One crisis of two avoided. And do I leave the burn? I do. <laughs> I do. Vika Volt. Thank you. So Charlotte, that is Calventula, which dies to rocks, and I die to the to the burn. So I guess that's actually kind of a kind of a cool play. No, no, because no, exactly because he didn't. The turn never ended. Ah, oh, that was a meaningless sack, wasn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, Rudy. Here comes goal. And this guy, for sure, has to be sashed. So lose his speed, you get plus two in attack, and I need to consider whether or not I ever can take a hit from this guy. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Because right now, he is like the main boss. He is everything I don't want to deal with. So I really need him to uh, to U-turn, but no, he goes for close combat. <sighs> the only like good thing coming out of this is I go for choice banded uh, Aqua Jet. Because, or I really hope that he is. Uh, yeah, I kind of need to hope he's scarfed or bait him for that U-turn. Basically. Hey guys, you ever seen Exeter? This is how it looks in this game. How about that? I don't believe knockoff kills. It could, but basically it's gonna um, Yeah, he's he's locked. This this guy is locked into that. Oh that's cool. That's good. That's that's absolutely wonderful. Um Pop in the citrus because we are as good as we are. <laughs> Get the harvest though. Get the harvest. But yeah, basically my play was no matter what this would let's say now he wasn't scarfed, this would only meant that I could just clear no matter what I would clear the sack, execute no matter what. But um, I wanted him to U-turn to kill me, but that was always gonna be the play anyway. Because I wanted Sally dead competitive uh, Beast of Pokemon that is um, Salazzle um, to um, come here freely so I could Rapid Spin. Um, now we don't take Sludge Wave hardly. Uh, he has Flamethrower, however. I do believe we can take that. We cannot. We cannot. I want to thank Jack Secure for doing your thing. It wasn't a lot, but at least it did something. Um, oh, how do I want to wrap this up? Um, I just want to finish him off. Um, now, let's say if I had Drapion, would it have mattered? Um, I say both yes and no. 
because actually Lexi here was a quite a, quite interesting switching to have left, even though it was never my intention to have it. So I say it worked in my favor in uh, in a weird way that I had that executor. But yeah, GG's Rudy. It was actually quite a tense game, and uh, looking back at it, I mean, we both clearly had stick web intentions and um, my team was a bit bulkier to manage that as his team benefited a lot more from having stick webs against him so if anything i think his team was well synergized for the um, for a job he wanted to do but at the same time i mean that gore guys if that would have been a standard gore guys i don't know how threatening that would have been but i know the foul play i was pulling there or I mean, uh, last resort would do a whole lot more. But considering it was a Willow Whip set, that could actually have been really devastating for me. Had it been a super sized uh, goal, guys, we would have had a lot different game. I mean that. So with that said, guys, as always, thank you for watching. And Rudy, as always, thank you for the game. Really, really tight and wonderful. Level. That was actually kind of tense, wasn't it? Um, and everyone else, you know, subscribe and whatnot, and like this video. Have a great day, everyone.